It was important for Save for Children to be here today. We, we don't interact with the open source community very much, or we haven't done to date. And as most NGOs know and understand, technology is normally at the bottom of the shopping list. Medicines, teachers, nurses, food, water, shelter, all those things the money is spent on first, which leaves very little to invest in technology. Yet in this modern world, we all know technology drives everything and it's a really key factor. So it is challenging for us to invest in technology. So coming to something like the Open Source Expo is a great opportunity. We see open software, which you know, minimizes the cost to us in terms of licensing at least. And maybe we see some great ideas. There's typically a lot more startups in the open sector than maybe in the commercial sector. And they're looking for niche or opportunities or ideas that they can share with others. And quite often we may see something that could be of benefit to us. So coming to here is a great idea. Um, I've already spoken to three or four different uh, small startups today with some great solutions and ideas that could benefit. But likewise, uh, people like Telefonica have been here today sharing their big data and uh, with a corporate view of, hey, we have this data, we want to put it to good use for humankind itself. And there was a great uh, talk earlier about using data with mobile phones during an earthquake and they could see where all the data was going. That sort of data could help us immensely, and not just us, other NGOs, to react to situations. If we can get that real-time data, for example, if there's a malaria outbreak in a part of the country, we know we can maybe send medicines and vaccines to a bit further downstream from the outbreak, knowing that it's coming that way, so we can then minimise the impact of such outbreaks. Um, for example, Ebola, we all talked about, uh, know about a couple of years ago, it's just again recently out. Uh, there's been a recent outbreak in Africa in the last couple of weeks. Hopefully it won't expand, but if we're in that place in a couple of years' time, hopefully we'd have some of that data and feedback from organisations that could help us react much better to those things. And it's exciting to come here because you see so many startups that you don't see in the corporate world and people with, with ideas, and they just want to work with us, which is great as well because maybe, you know, it's, it can be a two-way partnership. So one of your team asked me to come and talk. So that was the trigger. Now, I'm happy to change that because that, that might not be the best answer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm happy to say w most of the work we've done has been in the commercial world, but, you know, resourcing is tight. Open, the open world gives us opportunity to do more things with the same resources. So I can answer it in that way. And coming here has exposed me to some of the things that are possible. We, we work currently in mostly commercial organisations, uh, as I've said before, challenging for us with our resources, they're very limited. Now, the opportunity with open world is we can maybe look at solutions and we can get more for our money effectively. You know, we maybe spend some time with the supplier to do some set up and build, but actually we can get a huge licence of something um, that would cost us a fortune and we couldn't afford it if we were buying it commercially from a a normal organisation. But also with the open world, it's really important because things that they interact, there's a lot more exchange. And again, we're trying to do that in the wider NGO industry of work on other NGOs. And if the platforms become more standard around the world with ideas and data and openness, then this is maybe the future of where we get our solutions from.